Hello? Oh. Hello, everyone. Dana Lynette here. Okay, so today I want to talk about why. Why did I decide to go natural, return natural, whatever? Why did I stop relaxing my hair? What is that all about for me? And I'm really interested in hearing your stories, too. I love to see video responses from you all. Um, a little bit about your story, and perhaps I can get some of my friends to share their stories and post them as well. Uh, but for me, this is a long story. I'm going to try to edit this video so I am not too long-winded. I just give you the necessary information, but, um, oh, there's so much. First of all, let me give you a little background. I am one of those people, now I'm talking about in the past, I'm not like this anymore, so don't be judging me. I'm just saying, I am one of those people who was, who would be saying stuff, like silly stuff all the time, but meant it. Like, um. Uh, you know, anytime someone talk about, you know, natural versus relaxed or something like that, I'm like, uh uh, thank God for uh Madam C J Walker. Bless the the womb that bare that woman. Bless the day that she was born, cause the Lord knew this stuff. <laughs> this ain't stuff I'm hearing. So this straight out of uh Africa or something. No offense. No offense. Um, but these are the comments that I would regularly make, like in jest, but still like serious. Like, no, no, you don't understand. I am not mixed. This is not curly hair. This is kinky. I thought that I had 4C hair. I relaxed my hair so young. I think I was about 10 when I got my first relaxer, 10-ish. Um, and even before that, my mother, she didn't deal with kinks. Okay, so she was straightening my hair a lot. And if it wasn't straightened, then it was, you know, always combed out and twisted into those little ponytails. Uh, you know, ponytails too. With the big puffy twist the knocker balls it was cute um and then occasionally i would get you know braids with the beads but like my hair braided with beads on them and so i did not remember what my hair was like um i didn't care to remember just somehow in my mind it was just this unmanageable unpresentable mess that i was not about to be done with and so i relaxed my hair but, but with relaxing my hair was always so thin it was lifeless it was flat, you know, flat wraps, like literally. You wrap your hair, it's just flat. <laughs> no life, no body, no bounce. Um, and it just, you know, it was what it was. Um, but you could not tell me that relaxing was not 10 times better than my hair in its natural state because of what I had perceived in my mind. And you all know what plays into uh, the view, even, you know, ethnic i won't say african-american we're talking more than african-american we're even talking more than black people with ethnic hair um there's a lot that plays into uh what even we ourselves perceive as beautiful unacceptable uh etc and so i'm all over the place but as far as the background that's what it was you i will be the last person i will be the last ethnic woman on earth to stop relaxing her hair in my mindset that's the way it was and so um i'm 36 now about a year ago um actually uh leading up to march i started transitioning in march of 2014 so leading up to march of 2014 um i began to go through these changes that surprised me like i would start looking okay no let me back it up I went on a hair journey, it was a relaxed hair journey because I started watching YouTube for the first time a few years back. A girl named You Love Megs, hey Megan. Um, I was really inspired by her hair so long. She's relaxed, her hair was so long. I was like, wow, that's her hair. Oh my goodness, can I do that? <laughs> I went on a relaxed hair journey. I First of all, I'm telling you, I, I didn't have a hair regimen and didn't do real well with that. Um, it was constantly cutting my hair uh in the name of a setback cutting my hair in the name of all oh, i haven't been doing right so i'd get some length and then i'd cut it back and forth back and forth so anyway um anytime i would see on youtube like a hair journey and if it said natural hair journey skip no not watching that video because <laughs> i was not interested in being natural um however the day came when like i said there was a transition you talk about like a uh caterpillar and it's chrysalis and it's cocoon whatever becoming the beautiful butterfly there there's a transition 
that was taking place in my life and the way I view. So I would see these women with natural hair. They started popping up everywhere, first of all, all over the place. And um, and my view, my perception would be different. I'm like, wow, that looks good on her. <laughs> wow, you know, in the past, I didn't like that type of style, but she looks good that way. She, <laughs> okay, still not um, internalizing any of this to me. It's just like, oh, okay, wow, okay, so I can appreciate more... Um, things and different uh, styles than I had in the past, not so close-minded and narrow-minded. But I was w with respect to me because it wasn't happening here. <laughs> uh, you hear me? So uh, that transition continued and it got bigger and bigger. A whole lot of things played into this. I even saw Chris Rock's movie, Good Hair, for the first time right when I was like already on the brink of going natural because people in my classes, um, I was in school, I, the girls in my classes, some of them were natural. And I'm like, you know what? She doesn't look a hot mess. She looks nice. She really does a good job. I like that. So I began to see natural doesn't mean hot mess, which is kind of in my mind, honestly, if I were to tell you the truth, that's that's the way I thought of it um, in terms of type four natural. Let me throw that out there. I didn't think that about type three or two, type one. I mean, type four. And so... Um, you know, uh, uh, the girls at my church, different friends of mine, and I would be like, wow, you know, I like how thick their hair is. It's not flat and lifeless. Relaxed hair began to look um, less appealing to me. Uh, plus, I had stopped wear I stopped wearing my hair all together. Um, I found out about half wigs and then lace wigs and all kinds of wigs. I wasn't a big weave person. Every now and then I would wear weaves. But wigs are so easy. You just pop it on and you go and it's easy. You don't have to fool around with your hair. Um, so I wasn't wearing my hair anyway and I was kind of getting tired of that. Because um, really, you know, fake hair, you got to be careful with that. It really can look ridiculous. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, long story short, which I know that wasn't short, but I finally got to the point where it was like me. I was so excited about other people's natural hair. And then I was like, wait a minute. Why am I doing this? Especially, you know, when you look at, that was kind of the point of Chris Rock. I'm not a Chris Rock fan. I'm just, I'm just not. No offense. I'm just not. Um, but when I saw that movie, I got the greater point that he was trying to bring out. And it's a valuable point um, about self-love. Because in the past, I would never make the connection between the two. Um, the decision to wear your hair relaxed or natural, the decision to wear your hair or never wear your hair because it's constantly covered up, the decision to never wear your two texture because you constantly uh, change it with heat, or um, the decision to, you know, do just do you and accept you and to not hide you. Uh, it is a dis uh, based on, well, has its basis in or at least touches base on self-love the issue of self-love or lack thereof and etc etc this discussion is so big it could get bigger and bigger and bigger but I'm not going to do that today and so this evolution began inside of me and I began to change and my perceptions began to change and then I was so excited about natural hair and I was like man I don't even know what my hair looks like like I really don't know I was like, it's got to be for C. It's got to be. Anything that I remember from childhood, which was a long time ago. I told y'all I'm 36. Um, I didn't remember that much. Uh, so I asked my mom. She was like, well, your hair is not it's not bad. It's mine. Bad. Uh, you are some decent hair. But, I mean, you know, it's not the best. But it's, it's better to buy. What does that tell me? <laughs> she has locks. But anyway. Uh, so, oh, shout out, Mom. Love you. So I began to get excited and I wanted to know and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to do this. I am going to bitch up. <laughs> okay, I wasn't going to transition. Once I finally made that, boom, the transition was made in me, there was no stopping me. I wanted my natural hair right now. But you see this round, actually square face of mine and a lot of face. I knew that I could not have a fade. That was not going to happen. So in March, when I put that relaxer on my hair, I was like, oh my gosh, why am I doing this? Why are you doing this? It just wasn't there anymore. I had completely changed on the inside. And it was so ridiculous to me to be putting that relaxer on my hair. And so I was like, this is the last time. And so I transitioned from uh, that March 
until December and I set a date, scheduled an appointment. I went back and forth. Am I gonna come my hair? Is Tiffany gonna come my hair? Is somebody else gonna come my hair? Finally, I decided to go to a hairdresser because I wanted it shaped because I didn't want to just like have a bunch of natural hair on my hair, which hair on my head, which I knew I didn't know how to do anything with. So during that 10 months of transitioning, I was on YouTube, baby, learning everything I could about natural hair. Um, and I'm so glad that research, uh, I did that. Uh, it would have been different if I hadn't. My experience would have been different. So December 20th, 2014, went and got my big chop. Check out the description bar below, beside, wherever it is, above, okay? And uh, the link is there, and you can also see the video on my first week natural. And I recorded all this stuff because I was so excited back in March when I decided, wow, I'm actually going to be natural. I'm going to big chop instead of this long-term transition because I got to know what my hair is like ASAP. But I transitioned for 10 months because I didn't need to have this much hair because, like I say, I have a lot of face. I just wanted to make sure I wouldn't absolutely hate it when really it was the length. You understand? So, um, so all a lot of things played into, I had a lot of inspiration. Some of the girls in my class who were natural, I was like, man, their hair is really beautiful. Um, a friend of mine at church who has type 4 hair, she she went almost fade level, uh, a little bit more hair than a fade. She might have two inches of hair or something. And she was just so excited and confident in her um, natural hair, and I was able to do that. So part two, I'm going to talk about not just being natural, from relaxed to natural, and not just big chopping, but actually rocking my hair and not covering it up.